Are you turning your YouTube videos into blog posts so that you can get more traffic to your website and ultimately grow your audience? Have you been finding that turning videos into blog posts is actually pretty time consuming? Well, my name is Meredith Marsh and you're watching the VidPro Mom YouTube channel where I help flatten the learning curve of creating videos and today creating blog posts so that you can grow your audience and income online using YouTube and video content and social media. And if you're new here, if we haven't met before, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and everything that I mentioned in this video, I'll be sure to link down in the description below this video. So let's say you just published a video on YouTube and you know you need to turn it into a blog post, but you don't have an extra hour or four to turn it into a blog post. What can you do? Well, let me tell you, I've been there. When I first started my channel, that's exactly what I used to do. I would publish my video, put all my energy into the video, editing, publishing, all that stuff. And then I'd be like, oh my God, now I have to turn it into a blog post. Well, in the past few years, I figured out some really easy ways to speed up that process. And I want to show you my three favorite ways to do that right now. So instead of pecking away at the keyboard for another couple of hours or getting frustrated with your post publishing workflow or worse, ignoring your blog altogether and missing out on even more traffic through Google and even Pinterest, let's just take a few moments to get this done painlessly. So I'm going to give you the three best ways to turn your YouTube video into a blog post. So I have the fast, easy, and accurate way. I have the fast and easy way, and I have the fast and free way. So let's dive into this. The first way that I want to show you is the fast and most accurate way to do this. And that's through a transcription service like Rev.com. Rev is extremely affordable. They're very fast. And when I say that they're accurate. The transcriptions you get are extremely accurate. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Now I do have a $10 off coupon for you. If you go to vidpromom.com slash rev, if you're a brand new rev customer, you can get $10 worth of transcription and see for yourself. So I put a link down in the description for that. So you can get that 10 bucks. Let me show you exactly how this works. So once you have your account set up, just come over here to place a new order. You're going to choose transcription. And one of the really cool things I like about rev is you can upload a file to transcribe or you can paste the URL. So if you have a live public uh, YouTube video, you can just paste the URL in there. And actually, we're gonna do that. We're gonna hit paste a URL. I'm gonna paste my URL in there, hit add, and it already knows how long the video is. It's just under seven minutes. So it's telling me that it's going to be back within an hour. It's gonna cost me $8.75. I don't need to rush my order. I don't need time stamping for this, but it's great that they have those options there. So I'm just gonna come over here to check out. I've already got my card in there, so I'm just gonna hit place order and then we'll see what comes out on the other end. So my order was received by Rev and now all I have to do is wait. They said they'd get it back to me in less than an hour. And what's gonna happen is an actual human being is going to transcribe this into text and then I'll get a copy of that text file. In the meantime, I wanna move on to the second way that you can turn your YouTube videos into a blog post. And that's also using Rev, but using their, uh, what they call a rough draft, which is only 25 cents per minute and provides 80% accuracy. So this is a machine, artificial intelligence, making and transcripts out of what you're saying, and it's doing it automatically. It's a computer generated thing. So it's not as accurate, but definitely is quicker than just typing out a blog post on your own. So let me show you what this process looks like. It's essentially the same type of thing Thing that we did before and actually let me just paste in that same exact YouTube file I'm gonna hit I'm finished now the difference here is obviously in the price it's only gonna cost me a dollar 75 to have this done and it's telling me it's only gonna take five minutes 
So let's go to checkout and we'll see what this looks like. And there we go, our order was received. Now while we're waiting for that one to get done, let me show you this third way, which is still quicker than typing out a blog post, but it's not as accurate and it has a few more steps. And what you can actually do here is let YouTube do the automatic transcription for you. So let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna stick with this same video here. I'm gonna go to edit video. So we go to the creator studio on the back end of YouTube. And once this is loaded, we're gonna come down on the left-hand side under subtitles. And my subtitles have been automatically created by YouTube when I uploaded and published this video. They are, of course, in English. So we can actually download this file. So over here, you have these three little dots. Hopefully you can see those. If you click on that, you can do one of two things. You can actually edit them over in YouTube's Classic Studio. So let me show you what that looks like. So we're gonna hit edit once this page loads and then we can actually edit each and every single caption that was created. And then we can take this caption file and turn that into a blog post. So what you might wanna do is come in here and just take a look at some of the words and make sure that YouTube's automatic computer transcriber really did get the words right. Because sometimes uh, if you have an accent, if you mumble, even if you don't mumble and you just say your words clearly, sometimes it just thinks that it's another word completely. So you should always be coming in here and double checking this anyway for those that do have captions turned on on their videos. Anybody in your audience that's hard of hearing may have them on or they may watch your videos on mute and just read the captions. You should be coming in to do this anyway just to make sure that it's as accurate as possible. And once that's done, you can hit download. You can also just go ahead and download it from this page too once you have them all updated. It's gonna come down here under uh, captions. Now I'm on a Mac and if I double click this, it tells me that it doesn't know how to open. But what we can do instead is open up your text edit app. So again, I'm on a Mac, so I have the text edit app. You should be able to use this in pretty much any text editor on your computer. I'm just going to open the captions that SBV. And what you are going to have here is literally just text. And the text is timestamped. So what you can do is copy all of this and throw it into your blog post, which I'll show you next. And then you'll have to go in and edit it. You're going to have to capitalize any proper nouns. You're going to have to correct anything, remove the timestamps, and reword things into a blog post. You might be thinking, that sounds really hard, but guess what? It's free and it's an automatic thing that happens when you upload a YouTube video. Now I am still waiting for my rev.com transcriptions to come through. So in the meantime, let me show you how we can turn our text into a blog post. So I have the back end of YouTube pulled up here with the video that we're gonna turn into a blog post. I'm gonna come over to my WordPress site. This is vidpromom.com. I have WordPress installed. That's how I run my blog. And if you're new to blogging, you should check out my step-by-step -step blog setup series and the checklist that you can download. I'll link to that all down in the description below. But this is obviously all set up here. And the video that we are going to turn into a blog post is going to be this one right here. So let me just copy the title, come over here, add it to the top of my blog post here. So the name of this blog post is gonna be how to start a blog. Um, I think for, sometimes I change the title um, of the blog post, depending on uh, what the YouTube video is. Uh, so let me just pull up this captions file here. I'm going to highlight the whole thing, press copy, come over here and hit paste. And what's going to happen when we do that is it literally pasted everything in here in these blocks. So one thing I always like to do is come over here and just grab my description of my video, copy that, bring it over here, and we're actually gonna add this 
as its own paragraph right here. We're going to paste that in. There we go. So I have my uh, the first paragraph, my intro. That's already there because I already wrote it. It's already in my YouTube description. If there's anything else in here that I want to grab, then I can grab that. Or I can wait as I'm writing. I might want to grab some of these links. I'm sure that I will. And then I would literally come in here and just start editing. The beginning of this is pretty much the same thing as my intro. So I could highlight all of this and hit delete and get rid of it. Um, so you can see how the tr automatic transcription from YouTube is it's a little bit choppy. It just says Meredith and here on the VidCom YouTube channel, I help you create better videos so that you can grow your audience and income online using YouTube, however. And so a lot of this is still my intro. So I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna start off with many video creators on my channel and on my Instagram and all the places. So at this point, really what I'm doing is just rewording it. I can use the words I've already said to turn it into a blog post that is readable, if that's a word. So this obviously will take a little bit of time, but it's still quicker than typing everything out on your own. So we actually ended up getting the full Rev transcript, the one that's created by a human being back before we got the automated one back, which is pretty cool. They told us it would take about an hour. It actually ended up taking 16 minutes. This is what it looks like. What's really nice here is kind of like with YouTube, they, they provide an editor type of a format. So if we could, if we come in here, we can actually watch the video, we could come in here and actually like look at the words and it will go to that spot in the video so that we can edit this. And that's a really handy so that you can do that all here before you import it into your blog post. So I can already see it's going to be a lot easier to edit than the automatic one that YouTube provides for free. So for me, I think it's worth it. So what I usually do is just come in here, copy everything, and then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to get rid of all of these YouTube transcriptions here, highlight it all and delete. I'm going to create a new block down here, or a new paragraph. I'm gonna hit paste, and this is all gonna be separated into paragraphs. There are no timestamps to deal with. Everything is in a complete sentence because it's not coming from a caption file. It's a transcription. So this is going to be so much easier to edit. These things are capitalized, like Vidpramam is capitalized, Meredith is capitalized. It has proper nouns capitalized like Google. And that just is going to save you time in the long run on editing this into a blog post. So at this point, I would read through this and correct anything that needed to be corrected. But one thing we definitely want to do is make sure that we link to anything that we mentioned in our video. So in the YouTube video, when I say I'll put a link down in the description, I do actually put a link down in the description, but in the blog post, we can actually link to what we're talking about in the blog post, right? That makes sense. So I'm talking a lot about Namecheap here in this video. So I want to make sure that I'm linking to Namecheap everywhere in this blog post that I'm mentioning it, especially since I'm an affiliate for Namecheap. So every time I link to it, if someone clicks on that link, goes to Namecheap, and then makes a purchase, either they buy a domain name or they in, uh, get hosting and install a WordPress site on their own, then Namecheap gives me a little bit of a kickback on that. So I want to make sure I'm linking, but we have to do it appropriately. And affiliate marketing with your blog and your YouTube channel is sort of a separate topic. That's another video for another time. But let me show you exactly what I do here. So let me find a spot where I recommend Namecheap. So right here I'm saying I use Namecheap.com to buy all of my domain names. So I highlighted this up at the top is where I have my little menu here. I hit add link. I'm going to paste the link right in there. And then I have a drop down. 
I always want outside links to open in a new tab. And I also want to check that this is a sponsored link. It's not really sponsored by them. They're not paying me to put that link there. But since there's an affiliate relationship, I'm marking that as sponsored. And then I'm going to hit apply. As a matter of fact, I want both of these to be selected. Open a new tab, no follow and sponsored. Hit this little tab to make that little thing go away. And now we have a link here that is all set up as an affiliate link. So anywhere else on here that I and mentioning Namecheap, I wanna do the same kind of thing. And if there's any other mentions of links like the step-by-step -step blog setup checklist right here, I can copy that, come on over here. And where did I mention my checklist? I wanna make sure I get this into the right spot. I say, so be sure to download that checklist and I might say here. So this is a kind of an example of how you would reword and rejigger everything so that it makes sense as it's being read on a page with links and so forth. So we're good there. I'm opening that in a new tab because that's going to my landing page where you can download that checklist. But I do want it to be a no, uh, I, <laughs> I don't want it to be a no follow or a sponsored link. It's just a regular old link because it's going to my own site where I have my email opt-in forms. Now we probably also want to drop our actual YouTube video embed in here as well. So I'm gonna come to the YouTube video on the front end of YouTube and I'm gonna come down here. We could go to share and then once this comes up, we hit embed copy this code into our blog. So literally just highlight the whole thing, hit copy or hit copy down here, close that out, come back to our blog post. And then I might put it right here. So I'm going to add a new block to my blog post. I'm going to choose custom HTML and I'm going to paste it right in there and it's gonna leave that code there. If I hit save draft, then we can come over and actually preview this on the front end of the site and you can see what it looks like. So we have our title, we have our intro paragraph, then we have our video. That's usually about the way that I do it. And then below that, we have the rest of the blog post. Now, as far as you know, good blog best practices go, you would want to break these paragraphs up quite a bit more than they already are and definitely add some headlines, some headings. So um, like for example, um, I have over here, I'm starting to talk about buying a domain name. So I'm going to add a block. I'm going to add a heading block and I'm going to say where to buy a domain name. So this is a heading and it just breaks up the paragraphs. I would break these paragraphs up even more as far as making like a whole new section, a whole new paragraph. I would go through and obviously read this so that it made sense. So over here, I'm talking about this thing called the who is guard. And so since I'm sort of talking about a whole new topic, I wanna add, another um, heading here. What is who is guard? I'm also mentioning that you can register a domain name for up to 10 years. So I might want to add a, a paragraph kind of explaining that in this blog post, even though in the video I only touched on it. But it would be a good way to kind of fill out this blog post and give the, the reader all of the possible information that they would need when it comes to the first step of starting a blog, which is buying a domain name. So I'm gonna hit save draft again. As I scroll down, you can see there we have where to buy a domain name and we should have another one. Yeah, what is who is guard? Now you'll also see here in this draft, which this is not live on my site right now, we're just creating this draft, but you can also see where my Mediavine ads will be inserted into my post and into the sidebar. So you can really see what it looks like on the front end of your site 
just by saving it as a draft and then previewing it on your site. And if you're interested in how to have ads on your site so that you can earn ad revenue when traffic and viewers, readers are coming to your site, I'm going to have a video about Mediavine coming out in just a little bit. So make sure you hit subscribe if you're curious about how to become a Mediavine publisher to make some more money with the content that you're creating. Now to compare this with that rough draft type of a transcript, if we come over here, it gives us that same editor, but you'll notice a couple things like vidpromom is three different words not capitalized. There's this place here where the computer doesn't understand what I'm saying. And um, there's a couple other things that are like fit pro mom. That's definitely not, <laughs> not what I said at all. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit sloppier, right? Because it's just, it's automatic. So the full file that one that was completed by a human being is definitely going to save you a lot of time because it's like you had a person literally writing and typing as you were speaking so it's a lot more accurate so obviously we would want to start with the most accurate transcript that we possibly can now when we're done and we're happy with everything that's when you can actually publish your post or schedule it to be published and you have now learned three different ways that you can turn your YouTube videos into a blog post. So easy, right? So if you have been manually typing out your blog posts after you publish your videos, I hope I taught you some time-saving tips that will not only save you time, but also save you frustration and help you to get your content out there in the Googleverse. Now, I usually script out my videos completely before I shoot them, which means I have a script that can easily be turned into a blog post afterwards, and I have my virtual assistant do that. So if you want more information about exactly how I plan my videos and how I script them out, I queued up that next video for you to watch right here. So hey, let me know in the comments if there's any questions that I can answer for you about blogging and doing that in conjunction with your YouTube videos. I'd love to hear from you.